The style issue I have is that I love long, flowy skirts and feminine clothing. I'm always drawn to them. Now, the problem is I'm just five feet tall with very petite, delicate features. I've been told that I'm ultra petite by a good friend. So the clothes I'm drawn to can look as if they are drowning me. The other thing is, is now that I'm 64, but again, have been told that I look in my 40s, perhaps that okay. I think it's completely okay. I would really like to know how to keep my style as feminine as I can, but also appropriate for my age and not look like I'm lost in my clothing or as if I'm dressing too young. So Gina, fantastic that you're looking 20 odd years younger than you are. You know, so many people wish this was their case as well. So never feel that that's bad. Now, petite. When you are petite, it is very easy, as you've discovered, particularly if you're on the very petite end of petite, to be swamped by clothing. Um, and now there's lots of ways of being feminine without having to swamp yourself in volumes of clothing. So that fit and flare um, silhouette can still work for you, but instead of having lots and lots of gathering or lots and lots of frills, we want to pare that down. So it's just not so large. So really thinking about you know, you can still in, out, add in that femininity. And so if you love those kind of, you know, skirts and dresses, the long flowy skirts, that is fine, but they aren't the ones with lots and lots of fabric in them. And I would say don't go too long. As much as I know you understand you love the long flowing, but I would be careful about going really too far past my knees, um, unless I'm going for a maxi skirt. Uh, because if you go too far past your knees, particularly when you're already petite, it can make you appear shorter. Uh, but you can still have that fit and flare shape that is so uh, ubiquitous with our feminine style. Also think about, well, what are other ways I can add feminine into my outfit? I can add feminine by the colors I wear, so more pastel and more lighter colors. I can add feminine in with sparkly detail. I can add feminine in with florals. I can fe add feminine in with lightweight fabrics, which when somebody is smaller, a lighter weight fabric looks much better on them than a heavyweight fabric. I can add feminine in uh, with lace or other fabrics that have that sort of delicate floral um, kind of texture, like broidery on glaze. Like there's so many ways you can add feminine in. It does not have to be with volumes of fabric. So I think what you really want to do is make sure you're not adding too many, too much volume of fabric. Really, it's thinking about paring that down, but still adding those feminine details in and how to not look too young or like you look like like you're trying too hard to look too young, it's to think about, well, if a, you know, five-year-old, that's their version of feminine, and it could be lots of frills, lots of flounces, maybe we don't want to go down that road. But there is a sophisticated version of feminine where it could be a pussy bow blouse. It could be, because that bow is a feminine detail, but it's in a more adult garment. Uh, so it's really thinking about how do I add it in in an adult way. And I think like these days, there just aren't the same rules about, um, you know, the whole, the age related dressing. I think so many of those things have gone by the wayside, but it, it really is going, it's still being you. I mean, I think about Gracie and Frankie, the TV show, um, and Lily Tomlin, she's an artistic, but still feminine dresser in many ways where she's got those layers. Now she is a taller person. She's not a petite person. But she doesn't look like she's trying to be, you know, 50 years younger than she is. Um, so I think it's always important to think about, like, what are the details you see in a small, you know, children's clothes? Well, maybe avoid those elements of feminine um, because that's what we associate with, you know, very young and childlike. But don't worry too much. Honestly, when you dress as you, that is when you look your best and people feel that you are at your most authentic. And I think that's always something that's really, really important to remember. It's often when we feel like, and whether it's, I have a relaxed lifestyle, I feel I shouldn't get overly dressed, but you know what? If you feel more comfortable being more dressed up, then dress up. Um, it really is up to you about what, you know, makes you feel comfortable. And it's why in my seven steps of style program, I really go into depth into the personality element because it is so much at the crux of your style and understanding your style and what really works for you.
So if you would love to figure out your colors, your styles, how your personality influences, everything that you choose, I'd love to have you in my seven steps program. Um, and so, yeah, if it's something that you would love to get that knowledge, that education about how to do it for you with some guidance from a professional like me, I it's a great, ma uh, great uh, match up. So thank you so much for watching and for your questions and I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day. Bye for now.